So this letter right here, from, dated yeah. from November Can you 2nd. Just give me a chance to read it for a second. Well, no, that's fine. It was right here. Right. Is right here on her desk today, and I called her, and she said she was probably on the phone, <laughs> but she was told by someone, which she refuses to acknowledge, um, who told her to keep that on her desk. It's November 17th. And I called her twice, and she didn't pick up the phone purposely. And I um, would like to see that if you were probably on the phone because you're refusing to answer my phone calls, and this is from November 2nd, and it's November 17th, and it's on your desk right now for no reason whatsoever. What's the articulable reason? Oh. Yeah, we got that. Can I see this letter? We well, just gave it to her, right? I didn't give it to her. It was on here. He's here. This letter? I have this letter right here. Yeah. No, you don't have the letter, the internal 91A requested letter, which I just got a recording. It has my profile picture on there, and it has evidence that you guys are purposely not. That is not the same letter. That yeah, is another. So I'm going to show you a letter that I do have. Yeah, I already have that letter. Yeah, I know. Well, if you have this letter, let's go over it at the bottom real quick. <clears throat> so, future meant uh, communication be in writing through email to this email address right yeah, here. Is, uh, We're advising you to no longer call or come into the office. Yeah, why? Why? Why is that? There's no reason. It, it, There's no it gives you the reason right here. Sir. There's no it, it, Those are lies. So no, no, she, no. They're not lies because this is actually about right here. The I, know you're, I know you guys aren't legal lawyers. I've, I, I wrote to you guys the other day. So this right here is 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 it, is nothing it, to me. It, it, but what we just saw is there was an attachment to that letter which I would like to have, um, and if I can fill out a 91A request, then you can obviously handle it right now. I want that letter that was on there. I need a copy of what was on there. You can definitely do that. That's fine. Okay. Can I have that right now? The it's 91A right request that you're going to write down right now. Then you just state that. Sir? Yeah. Do you have a pen I can borrow? May I borrow one of the the governor's pencils? Can I just see that? Can I see that letter? No, there's a letter with an attachment, which I have a recording of, that was on your desk right now that you just shuffled underneath the papers. You know what? It's really can, I ha can I have that? I'm right here behind the vestibule. Can I please see that? I don't need to fill out a 91A request. The same thing I'm looking at. Nope, it's not. Is this? Thank you. There's that right there. There's that. There's that right there. I already got a. I already got a recording of it. Why are you trying to hide it? Why are you trying to hide it, sir? I'm, I'm trying to make sure that this is the same. It's the same letter, and then that's a letter from Jen saying so, some so if, some if really this, weird stuff. So if this is the same letter, then why are we trying to get this here? That's what I don't get. There's a letter right here with an attachment from Jen. If you could please yeah, place no, it. Yeah, no, that's that's. I mean, that's not here nor there. This is your information that was yes. sent to you. This was that's on her I desk. Given, this was on. That's her allowed desk. to be on her desk. Right, and right. it has a it has a communications about me, and I need that right now. Yeah, no, and you can do that in a 91A request. You can put that in there in a 91A request. That's what I'm stating. If that is what you would like, you can put that in there. Uh, please don't leave with those papers. Who are you? Preston Young. I talked to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're the guy who knows the Constitution so well. No, I'm the one that's told you numerous times to, to have a conversation with an attorney. I don't need to have a conversation with an attorney. Okay. For the letter you are holding now. This is literally ridiculous. It, I, I think that it's absolutely ridiculous that you're coming in here when you've been asked to not come into the office. You guys aren't responding to my letters. The letters regarding something you sent yesterday? Yeah. From someone in a meeting right now? Can I please have that letter? That is government property that is regarding me? I mean, I can give this to our council. It takes a few days for a 91A request, sir. All right, well, I already got it on film. 
Okay. So you're just making so, you're making things obviously difficult. There is a letter on there. I have it on film, right there, and you're being purposely deceitful, hiding it. Why are you hiding a letter about me? It's a ninety-one A request. I'm not an attorney. So what you're asking me, I'm saying I don't know about. Can I, I just can I have anyway. that piece of paper, please? No. What you can do is you can wait for me to get this to counsel, but I can also give you another piece of information. So that information is due to the fact that you came in here when we told you not to. Going forward, okay, you do it again, we are going to call security. Why? Because you have been advised not to come into the office. On what legal ground? What legal grounds is this letter that you were given. If you think that that isn't against legal grounds or whatever that is, because once again, not an attorney, you can dispute that however you'd like. You can bring that to the attorney general's office. You can bring that forward however you want it. So there's no, no trespass. You can't trespass me from the state building. For what well, grounds? From Once again, I'm giving you this letter that you said that you've already seen. I'm not trying to get in a back and forth on what grounds. I'm not an attorney. I'm just telling you specifically, you have been told to not come into the office. This is the last warning that I'm giving you, saying you're not coming in. Why can't I come into the office? Because it needs to be put in writing. I already put it in writing. You guys aren't responding to it. You said that you put it in writing yesterday. I'm putting it in writing uh, multiple times. I've been putting it in writing since December of 2022. When we've been telling you, pre no, when you and I spoke, it was way before that. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it 20, wasn't. 22. Oh. I'm what gonna, legal agreement? I'm not going to do this by memory. But yeah, I mean, I okay. Once well, so, so once again, you have no authority to tell me not to come into the state building. I'm not causing a ruckus. I'm not doing anything deceitful. This is my state building, not yours, Preston Young. And are, is it is the recollection that this... Who did this letter come from? Jen, Jen has no authority to trespass me from a building which she does not work at. Did, and I, you I have no authority to trespass me. What I'm saying is that continuously you have been told the same thing. You've done this with me before no, I you went to Jen. Yes, you did. You did this with me. You were my case before you were Jen. Mm -hmm. And what did you Director. do? What did you do? And I told you that if it is legal, there's nothing we can do. I'm not and asking you, got, you to do and legal. You, and you can I'm not asking that. you to do. If you're going to ask me a question, I suggest you let me answer it because I can't answer a question if you're going to continue to speak. I That's not going to happen. I didn't ask you a question. You just did. What question did I ask you? Sir. I'm not trying to play these games. I'm trying to put this right now to you, okay? You come in again, we're going to alert security. Security's right here. This is, this is me trying to do it the right way. What legal grounds do you have I'm to not, keep me out of the state you're office? You're asking me and I'm not an attorney. You trespass anybody for any year from this property. For what? For what causing legal? Causing a disturbance. Am I causing a disturbance? I don't know. Are you? No. But you're asking me what we can remove people from the state house for. Okay. I'm telling you it can be done. So with that being said, is he am I causing a disturbance right now? You are not. Okay. So I can't be trespassed. I'd I'd, I'd actually So here's secu that. here's security. We told him yeah. that he cannot come in and that he needs to put everything that he needs assistance with in writing. I have he isn't and doing you won't respond. Can... You gotta you... stop interrupting. Are you going to let me finish or no? Go ahead. Okay. So if that is said to you, okay, where do you think that it is okay to come into the office? Right now, we don't have a receptionist right now because we're trying to get in a back and forth about something that we have said we can't assist with. I've, so yeah. that is technically a disturbance. If it is something that we can assist with, trust me, I have plenty of cases. I would love to help you. But it's not anything in our jurisdiction. That's not true. What? Yes, it is. We've how, gone over how, this. How many emails have I sent you in the last 30 days? You haven't sent me because you're not my case anymore. You asked to speak to my supervisor who has told you the exact same thing. I actually word asked to word. speak to the governor. Well, that's great. But guess what? A lot of people are in line to speak with the governor. A, B, it's not going to happen if you cannot follow the rules that we have set here for you. You don't have rules. The, I would say that this is a rule, sir. I would say... As such, if you wish to seek any assistance from the governor's office, that includes the governor, right? In the future on other issues involving a state agency, we ask that any future communication be made in writing or through email to Governor Sununu at nh.gov only. And we are advising you to no longer call or come into the office.
Well, that has, we have set the rules right there. But you can't and set you those are, rules. We I, have a right, I have a constitutional right to petition the government, and I've already followed those rules, and you guys are ignoring them. That's you have all. Some, no confirmation. That's 100% true. That is 100%. I have all the emails, the whole thread. You don't know how many emails. Why don't we get Governor Sununu or Jennifer over here, and Jennifer can explain well, actually, how many emails. I'm going to see Jennifer in her office. I'm going to ask her to come over here. She's okay. in a meeting, though. That's why I'm over here. Uh, I mean, like, oh. Well, how about she responds to the emails that I've been sending for the last several months that one of them that indicates that the funds that are being no, actually, distributed. Actually, one time, one time there was a thing. Excuse me, you just interrupted me. Excuse me, you just interrupted me. I just remembered this. Oh, well, you, but you just interrupted me, here. sir. Did you not just no, interrupt me? That's fine. You've been doing it for an hour. So. I have, because I've only we, been here we, we asked for 15 minutes. We asked you to fill minutes. out a privacy waiver also. You didn't do that. You can ask that me. Is, I is, can ask you to do car wheels in the, in the that, state house. You can say no. All right. I've, I've had enough here. So you ha you know at this point, because I've reemphasized it numerous times, not to come into the office, everything you need, put it in writing, and you're saying no. I've already put it in writing, and you guys aren't responding to it. Does that say, is there like a little disclaimer on the bottom that says if there's nobody that replies to this, that is you not, are allowed to That is not illegal. Office? He just said I'm not causing a disturbance. That is not a legal document that is in any way. Okay. That you, is actually oppression. You can, have a, you, and, you can and, have a conversation with a member of the Attorney General's about that. Sure, but, I would love right to. Now, I would love to. I, I, I would, you're, you're done, done with it. I'm not done with it. No, when, no, no, when no is, you are. When is Jennifer... You can, now you're telling me what to do. It sounds like you're being pretty, and you're shaking. You're, you're pretty, pretty uh, threatening right now, and I don't understand why. I'm pretty threatened by sitting here leaning over a desk. Because shaking. I'm re-emphasizing. I can visibly see you're shaking. Point. Your face is shaking, and you're, and you're. Because I'm a diabetic, and you're, you're actually taking away from my lunch right now. What time is it? Okay. One sixty. Well, this is the people's office. I can certainly sit here, but this I'm just. This is the governor's office. Right. Which the governor keep, is elected by the police, you keep uh, by the people. The play of words, and I've already told you. Right. You can play all you want with the words, but when your business is done here, you will be leaving. Right. Of course. Yeah. So, um, my business is, is the reason why I'm here is because the domestic violence coalition is misappropriating funds, and the governor just gave another two and a half million dollars of funds. And I've been notifying him in email for a very long time, which makes him culpable. Or and Jennifer told me that um, he's actually I know nothing about this. received this. I know nothing. Oh, about I know. What you're saying okay. So well, then what, maybe what we I'm, should have Jennifer contact me back in writing. I can I can pass that message along. What I am right now is I am the messenger right now for this letter that was sent to you, okay. which you're not listening to me tell you about. So once again, I've I, I want to I want to see what's on the back of that letter. And that's in your 91A, which I, I told you I would give to legal counsel, correct? It doesn't matter. I already have a picture of it, and I'm going to read it. Okay. And it's going to show that you are basically harassing me and uh, sending harassing letters. Nobody's harassing you. I feel like I'm being harassed, and that the reason yeah, why is they have this. This office has only tried to help you, and just for you saying that. I don't understand why you're saying it because he's trying to help you. We've been trying to no, help you. No, he's not. He's trying to. He's but not. you're not listening. You only hear what you want to hear. No. And until you get those answers, like when you just brought up that thing he'd never heard of about the coalition taking money, no. that's an AG issue. That is not anything we do. That's the, so, gover the governor signed on that specifically. The governor signed on it specifically again, on November be, 8th. And on you, November 2nd. Okay, again, you're not listening. I, but you don't know any of the facts, sir. You just said that I'm, I'm not, not supposed to know the facts. I'm trying to direct you to get to the right people to give them the okay. facts. Okay. So what's happening is you sent this letter. It's not legal. I've been writing multiple times. Jennifer's not responding. The governor's not responding. I get an autoresponder that tells me to call them and the staff will help me. She refused to call me. She was that. on lunch and now she left. She just came back from lunch. We got that on film. She came back from lunch. Now she's gone again and she's purposely not answering the phone. And she had this letter on her desk. That letter says November 2nd. That letter says November 2nd. And we saw her. And then there's another letter attached to it with my picture on it saying 
who knows what it says and you won't let me read it for some reason you're hiding it and any of any of our documentation here once again that is our documentation you have the right as a citizen correct to do a 91a request you've done that no not specifically I is, isn't that what you filled out right here what do you do you have it is is that what you filled out right here yeah but why aren't you why aren't you sh showing it to me why because it's it's the same thing with all of our documents unless the ones that you have specifically been sent it's attached to my letter it and it's sitting on her you. desk it's sitting on her desk today it was sitting on her desk today she has a letter she's she won't tell me she, who. she has a letter for all of the people that we've sent these letters to really because I don't see any other letters here we we have them but why was mine on this desk today she probably has spoken to you before seen you before i don't know okay well why don't you find that out why don't you do that, some that's research not our job to find out why paperwork is where it is he's trying to help you get the paperwork that you want right with the 91 no he's not I, that's what i'm saying is that he's yeah. reading this letter that he magically and there and he's he has, hiding stuff again he has told you do you want the paperwork do the 91a request which you have done right I've had. Have you done it? I guess it's, yes it's pretty. No? It's pretty illegible. I, I don't know. It doesn't even have my name. It says. It says. Get, I want the paper that's in your hands right now. You can't have it right now. It goes through our legal department. We have five days to respond from the day you do that. That's so. Like it or not, that's the rule. That's a derelict of. of uh, it's not a derelict of duty. It's how everything is done in this building, whether MUR requests it or not. They have to do the same And there's thing. a right to no ombudsman right next door. Yeah. So. There you go. Well, what I'm saying is that that piece of paper is threatening and taking away from our rights, and you guys haven't been responding to anything. I'm sorry. What rights is it taking away from? The right to petition the government. I don't see a petition. A petition is a verbal petition, and I can redress my grievances to the well, elected go officials. See your, go see your state rep. I don't have to. He's my elected official. Who? Governor Sununu. He's everybody's elected official. Yes, that's and right. You have rules and have and which you have to abide by in yes. order to get an audience with him. It doesn't happen when you show up here. You I've been trying for a point. year. You haven't been trying for a year. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I have a paperwork trail of it. Yes. Okay, can you provide it to me right now? Why do I have to? I don't have to. Okay, then I can don't you, believe can, you. Okay, that's fine. Why do you, well, on what grounds so do you not believe me? So now you need to go what, and do something else. On what grounds do you not believe me? Because... If you had it for a year, you'd have it in your bag, wouldn't you? Um, it's multiple Can emails. Can you provide it to me? I don't have to, and I don't, don't need if to. If you want an audience, there are paperwork that has to be done, right? And he has it. All, all he has to do is search my he email everything. address. He keeps everything. All he has to do is search my email address, and he'll be able to find it. And he's just staring at this piece of paper. That's because we've been going over the same thing over and over again with you. And every time we go over it, you feel threatened. Wait, with me? Yeah. What do you mean? When? See? Oh. Corruption. So how are you going to have uh, this addressed? Because I have multiple emails out to him, and I have an email thread so deep and so long, and it's going to you. So and I, I didn't ask for legal assistance. Wait, hold on. I, I didn't ask for legal assistance. So what you're saying is I asked for legal assistance. So no. no. I'm That's what it anything. says is we do not provide legal assistance. Uh, no, anything legal, though, obviously. anything in the courts, right? We can't touch. That's the judicial branch of government, and I've told you that. Yeah, the, the police, police, the police aren't, aren't doing their job. There's multiple things. The Domestic the, Violence Coalition. The municipal police? Manchester? Yeah. Municipal. We have no jurisdiction over them. It's the top elected official in that area. That would be the mayor's office. Okay. No, he... Uh, the the. Listen. It was the state police. Hold on. There you go. State police. We have jurisdiction over those guys. Okay. Well, then maybe I go to the state police. But the thing is, is that you haven't responded to any of my emails. And if you look at the emails, it wasn't just well, about that stuff. Am I on these emails anymore? I think I've... I don't know. I Jennifer is. I don't know what, happen, what happens to your emails. When someone emails Governor Sununu, what happens to your emails? What happens to it? That, that would go to the gov. And then he disperses out if it is. So the government, the, gov the governor, the governor sees every single email. He goes through it. He has people that help him go through it. Yeah. Okay. And it gets dispersed so why, to the people that can actually take care of things. Right. But when it's something that we cannot take care of, like municipal police. Why wouldn't he just say, "I can't take care of it"? 
Why, sorry. One more time. Why wouldn't he just reply back, hey, Robert, I can't take care of this for you? Because we have told you that. I have told you that numerous times. But it's not true. I, well, how is it not true? I've, I've had this job. I think it's six, Article 41. I've had this job for six and a half years, sir. Yeah. Right. And I know where my jurisdiction was. What was that? So, so six, years, or six years ago, what happened at the Sununu Youth Center? Yeah. What, what happened at the Sununu Youth know. Center? Uh, kids kids were getting case. raped. Kids were getting raped. Okay. So uh, my, my question is, is what I'm trying to... We're talking what I'm, about things that don't... I'm trying to get an answer. Issue, when will I get a response from the emails that I've been sending because it's been over 30 days and I've gotten zero response and you guys just sent me this letter that accuses me and says that I can't come in to the state house. We're going to go out in the hallway because now we've got people coming in and you're videoing them and you can't video those people. I can definitely video those no, people. it's against the law to video people without their consent. They are not. They are not is this a public place? Issue. This is a public place, but I'll, I'll, go, I'll go in there. But it is a public place. They are public, private citizens. They are not government officials. And if okay. you want to video them, you have to ask them no. permission. No, and not at a public place. No, that's not the way it works. Yes, it is the way it works. I, as a, pub, as a government official, you can video What's me any time. I'm Sergeant Gilbert with the New Hampshire State Police. Okay, Sergeant Gilbert. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay, so. I'm trying to do this, but look it. Hey, guess what? 